Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programas offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com barra oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. برامجنا نا متوفرة بالعديد من اللغات يرجى زيارة suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule The only source of happiness is inside. Whenever you meditate, try to get in touch with that source. For your sake, for your own happiness, contentment, satisfaction, you must always try to get in touch with that joyful center which is inside all of you. That is where the master power is. Please continue watching to find out more. Hello, cherished viewers. I'm Aleki. The compassionate people of Nauru appreciate your kind actions that bring joy to those around you. May your soul be uplifted in godly virtue and unconditional love. Supreme Master Ching Hai is a highly gifted, multi-talented and fully enlightened master. She is also a world-renowned humanitarian, environmentalist, multi-talented author, artist, designer, musician and a film director. In every one of her endeavors, Supreme Master Ching Hai conveys infinite love and concern for all beings, as well as boundless encouragement for those who wish to progress spiritually. Supreme Master Ching Hai imparts the truth, as did the worshipped Shakyamuni Buddha, Lord Jesus Christ, venerated Lao Tzu, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak and many others. The spiritual practice currently known as the Kuan Yin Method is the one practiced by all these enlightened masters as well. Thus, Supreme Master Ching Hai often reminds us of the similarities among all their great teachings. Coloring Our Lives is a collection of quotes and spiritual teachings of Supreme Master Ching Hai. In response to the questions and concerns of truth seekers, Supreme Master Ching Hai provides insights that are both spiritual and practical. Her suggestions light the way to creating a Buddha's pure land on earth, as well as being an intelligent, talented artist of life. As Supreme Master says, while making good use of every minute of our time to lead a fulfilled, positive, happy life in the process of learning, we can also use the very lively, animated and joyous spirit derived from spiritual practice to color our lives. Today we share with you the wise teachings of Supreme Master Ching Hai in excerpts from her book, Coloring Our Lives. Taming the Human Brain Don't make meditation a kind of work. It's just a relaxation time. Tell your mind it has nothing to do and to just sit there relaxing. And if you cannot sit too long, you can lie down and rest. Make it pleasant. You can put a flower in front and wear some nice clothes. Make it like a ceremony if it feels good. That's why some people put out incense, flowers and all of that, just to please the mind. Whatever it takes to make your meditation pleasant, you can do it. Have fun. Or maybe lie down and rest. Meanwhile, concentrate here, at the Wisdom Eye. Make it pleasant at first. 
don't make it too hard for the mind, because he doesn't like it. He doesn't like working. And if you're too serious, the mind will rebel, thinking, I don't like that. I'd like to have fun. I'd like to go out. I'd like to have music or coffee with friends. I don't want to sit here. So just make it nice. Invite some good friends, initiates, to come to your house. Or come to their house, have coffee, chat first, or do something together, and then sit together, as if it is a part of the game, part of the fun. That's in the beginning. Later, you get used to it, and you don't need that game anymore. You can just sit anywhere and feel good. First, relax the mind. Most often, all of us are very hurried to become a Buddha, and that's why we have problems. We struggle between the soul and the brain. The soul wants to meditate, the brain wants to play. So we can reward it somehow. Like after you have a good meditation, give yourself some of your favorite food, take yourself out, or see your girlfriend, do something nice afterwards, so the brain will know, okay, that's good. Train the brain just like you train a dog. You know how to train a dog. When the dog does something good, then you give him a reward. That's how he becomes better and better. Our mind sometimes is a troublesome thing. If you really sometimes don't feel like meditating, then just leave it. Don't force yourself too much. Just do something else, running or doing some exercise. And when you're tired, then you will like to sit down and the mind will not make trouble. Actually, that is a problem when we are alone. Sometimes the mind tricks us a lot. And if we don't have someone to encourage us or to hold hands, we cannot continue so fast. That's why we need a teacher and friends, fellow initiates. Then we can talk out the problem with them, and sometimes they help. So try to go to group meditation as often as you can. You can talk over problems with your fellow practitioners, befriend them, invite them for coffee or tea to your house, and vice versa. Make it fun, and sometimes go out together, have fun. Go to the cinema and do something together, so that meditation will become part of friendship and fun. At first, for some people, it's necessary. You have to find out what your mind likes, and then give him a little. Don't be too harsh on him. Some people don't need it. They love to meditate, so it's easy. But even then, when we enter some stages of meditation, we sometimes get stuck there. We feel suddenly that we don't want to meditate anymore. We don't want anything like that. We've had enough with Buddhas, or enlightened beings, and things like that. But it's just temporary. Then later, when you have friends, you read some spiritual books and listen to some spiritual tapes, or even read some Buddha scriptures. Maybe that's going too far. But some contemporary books about life and death, about meditation, and about the experience of heaven by other people. And then you will be somehow more stimulated to want to have the same experience, and so you will make more effort. We have to find a way to do things that suits our pace of life, our style, our thinking, and also our habits. Habits are hard to change. We should do it slowly if we cannot do it fast. The purpose of meditation, realizing yourself and attaining inner bliss. Actually, when we're very happy, it's very difficult to meditate. And when we're very miserable, it's also very difficult to meditate. That's why we always try to strike a balance in between, so we don't feel such extremes that we forget that the real happiness is inside. Truly, it is. Actually, if we truly rely on the inner happiness, then everything will come, then we'll never be disappointed or have to rely on anyone. If someone comes, it's okay. Or if they don't come, it's okay. We don't feel so hurt or pained inside. So all the pain, sorrow and misery come not from the outside, not from other people. They come from our inner ignorance. We expect too much from everyone and everything. And then we are disappointed.
So the only source of happiness is inside. Whenever you meditate, try to get in touch with that source. For your sake, for your own happiness, contentment, satisfaction, you must always try to get in touch with that joyful center which is inside all of you. That is where the master power is. That is where every miracle in the universe can manifest. That's all loving kindness. That's where all loving kindness is born. That's where all the virtues, beauty, and the truth lying dormant there for you to discover. Otherwise, sooner or later, we all die and go where? Who cares? At least when we're living, we must live a very worthwhile human life. We should be happy and be able to carry on our life in a joyful way because that befits our dignity as a human being, as the top 10 of all the animals in this world. We're the top of physical creation. We don't know if we're the top of the universe yet, maybe not, but at least here, we're the top of creation. So we must carry on our life as dignified as a human being should be, and not be fearful of everything and stupid and in misery, especially when we have the treasure inside that we can always use. That's the only purpose of meditation. That you know yourself and know what true happiness is. Not because the master says so and you have to obey the master. You obey the master because it's good for you. But you must know why. You must know it's for you, not for the master. The master doesn't care. I don't care. If you don't meditate, you don't meditate. It's your life. I can't control you, and I don't want to. If you control someone else, you're bound to him or her. Just like the policeman with a criminal. They're both handcuffed. The policeman has to take care of the prisoner. I don't want to be in that position. So whatever I tell you is good for you. And if what you hear is logical and you know it, then carry on. Not because I force you or anything like that. It's an honor. It's a privilege and it's the best fortune of our life to be able to know such a secret. It's not being forced, it's not a bargain, and it's not an obligation. It's the best of all privileges, the best of all luck, in thousands or millions of lifetimes, that we're being so easily shown such a door to liberate ourselves of all misery. So work on it, that's all there is to it. Cheerful viewers, we appreciate your company today on Words of Wisdom. Coming up next is The Millennium Eve with Supreme Master Ching Hai, Vegan, Part 6 of 9, right after Noteworthy News. May the purity of your spirit be cherished in the wondrous blessings of heaven. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW.